and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to go over Combine Promo Part 2. It is released today. As you guys remember, the dates were the first day it came out, March 2nd, and March 4th. So today is March 2nd, which means Part 3 will come on March 4th. Now, what do I expect for the majority of this promo before I go into today's content? Expect some LTDs. I expect another master. I expect a few things. Now, will the master come today? I think we might be getting an LTD today. Got to look into all that, but I do I do believe we will get another master. Now, if I had to guess who we're going to be getting, I'm hoping that throughout, at least by the fourth or the last day of the promo, we do get a Chris Johnson, a CJ2K. Guys, there's a few things we got to get. Every year in Madden, there is a, every year, every single year ever since like Madden 13, there's there's few constants in Madden, and the Combine Promo was one of them, and what do we get? We always get a Patrick Peterson, we always get a uh, Chris Johnson, we always get a Vernon Davis. We always get those cards, so it'll be kind of upsetting if we do not get at least one or two of those cards. I've been getting Vernon Davis since no joke, like Madden 13. That was one of my first cards I got. Vernon Davis was back then, I've been getting Patrick Peterson for almost that long, I've been getting, and I've been getting Chris Johnson for as long as he's been a master. Like So hopefully, hopefully guys, they end up coming out with them, but today... Let's go over part two. Guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Every 80 likes will be 10K given away. I have contacted the other giveaway winners or waiting for some of them to contact me. A little bit of mix and, mix and match there. But every 80 likes will be another 10K given away. So all you got to do to enter is subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below your console. Once you do all this, you enter to win, guys. Good luck. Now, let's hop into this. Hopefully, we get some of the stuff we're hoping for here. If not, we still have the fourth to hold out hope. But, guys, come on. A Vernon Davis, that'd be end game for me. A Patrick Peterson would be end game, which will kind of suck because I got Denzel Ward, which maybe is our new Patrick Peterson. And a CJ2K, I don't think I'd get it at this point, but I still we still got to get one, guys. It's just standard. It, it wouldn't be a common problem with that one. So, hopefully, things go well. Hopefully, we get some of this stuff because, guys, it's going to be weird if we don't. Now, let's hop on over to the sets. Let's go check out the brand new stuff. And hopefully, 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 they drop some fire, guys. Let's get into it. Now, coming into the set, we do have Denzel Ward as a set option. We still do not have Alvin Kamara, which does mean that we will be getting Alvin Kamara as the last player for the promo coming in on the fourth. Now, what's concerning here is what I think is kind of dumb, right, in my opinion, is how they end up doing this format. So, pretty much what you're telling me is we were able to get these players day one, but these are the new cards we're going to be getting now. I'm really hoping that we do end up getting some kind of master or ltd or something because it's kind of ridiculous if in fact we don't get another master or anything and literally the part two and three of the promo were giving us players that i already have fully powered up so i really hope that isn't it now the i believe the set works exactly the same way as the alvin kamara did and i mean the mark cooper did and if it does in fact work that way then i mean we kind of know what to expect here at this point i believe that's it for note for the combine set so i was heading over to solos i don't know if anything new came out there i don't even know what we really need from there at this point anyways Let's go check out the NFL Combine Solos. Hopefully, you guys are getting your tokens towards your DK Metcalf, and you're getting that all finished up. Now, there's only a second tier, which is the free player. I mean, we have Championship Era, which I believe I believe was there. I mean, I, I could be wrong. I haven't really played some solos. But if, if they're new, guys, here you go for that. Kind of upsetting. I was hoping we'd get some other stuff. I got to obviously look around. I did hear something about an LTD John Ross, though. So we're going to go check the auction block in just a second, see if that's out. I don't know if it will be out, but we got to check. Guys, I'm going to take you over to the... Um, computer screen obviously because things are coming out on stream and they're not out in game so i want to give the, i want to show you guys everything here because this is where everything is right now probably a little bit easier for you guys to see on one big format too so i turn the face cam off so you guys can see everything properly so we got harrison phillips 85 defensive tackle we got ronald blair the third right end now so far these cards are not looking too great the first two at least we got rashawn gray or gary at 86 overall left end great speed nick out of the left end spot so packers team teams probably will enjoy that jamal dean or jamel dean 94 speed at cornerback. Now, that's a budget beast cornerback right there with 89 acceleration. We got Carl Lawson, 87 overall right end for the Cincinnati Bengals. Not the best athleticism. Decent, I guess, for an 87. Not my type of card, although he's a decent budgety type card. We got Darren Lee, 87 speed, 88 excel middle linebacker for the Jets with 87 hit power. That's a great user right there for all you guys who have a Jets team team. Ch Chidobi Awuzi. Uh, guy for the Cowboys. He's the one that chased down Saquon Barkley this year on like that crazy, insane speed that he hit. 90 speed, 91 excel. Another great budget beast cornerback. And if I see correctly, he's an 86 press too, so that's pretty good. And then we got Quentin Williams for the Jets. 91 overall defensive tackle. Now, he was a rookie premier, so if you guys have him, he should be getting upgraded about now. Now, his speed and excel and everything, decent at best. Not a great card at all, in my opinion. I think the other cards look better than him, and they were lower overalls. Right, guys, next. 
We got 93 overall right outside linebacker Montez Sweat for the Washington Redskins. Kind of looks like, I don't know, looks familiar to me there, but whatever. Cannot be powered up, obviously, which kind of does suck. But he is six foot six, 92 speed, 94 acceleration. That's pretty crazy speed right there, not going to lie. Quite honestly, that's pretty amazing for a right outside linebacker at 93 overall. For all you foul Redskins team teams, you're probably, you guys are probably ecstatic right now. That kind of speed and excel on a theme team, he's going to be getting up to some pretty high speeds on a theme team. 81 strength to go along with 93 tackle. Cars looking pretty solid with 80, excuse me, 89 play rec, 84 block shed, 80 power move, and 90 finesse move. Guys, this card as a whole is looking super, super solid. Not going to lie. He can pass rush. He can decently stop the run. Great speed, great excel. Now, yes, the block shed's a bit low, but you have to also remember that in, with these kind of cards, he is a low overall, so you have to kind of base it on what the 93s would look like when we first started getting them. This is a really great card. That speed Nick so he's going to be different, especially for a Redskins team team by himself. Maybe not entirely, but you have to remember, there's Redskins team teams out there that's going to really appreciate this card. And if he can be powered up, he can even be on more teams, even as like a left outside linebacker, if you want to put him at that spot. I'm personally looking for a zone guy, so this ain't it for me, but that doesn't mean it ain't it for everyone. And next, guys, we got the LTD. We got limited time John Ross. Now, if you guys remember, John Ross has become a recent staple in the combine promo as of late because of his spectacular performance in 2017 when he had a 4.22 combine. He believe he broke the 40-yard dash record, as it says there, with a lightning fast 4.22 time during the NFL combine. He did break, I believe it was CJ2K's record at the time. Now, arguably, Tyreek Hill just about as fast, if not faster at this point. But what you get at the combine is what stands as the record, not about game speed in terms of the combine. But John Ross did not pan out exactly anyways. He has not looked too great. He struggled with injuries. But guys... Looking super, super solid. 5'11", 99 speed, 90 jumping, 91 catching, 88 catch in traffic, 90 spec catch, 91 short route running, 89 medium route running, and 99 deep route running. So far, this card looks decent. In my personal opinion, the issue with this card is he has 99 speed. So what? Every route, every wide receiver I have is like a 99 speed. The, and he can't catch that well, and he can only route run decently. He can only pretty much run streaks, which is not the hardest route to run. But in my opinion, he's not the greatest card. I mean, this looks exactly like the card art from last year, too, as well. I think they could have done better with this card. At least give us better catching. I have no intentions of getting an LTD uh, John Ross card for that amount of coins when you could do a lot more with a lot less amount of coins. Specifically because even if his juke and spin and everything good, which I don't think it's even that great, he's still going to struggle with catching consistently and running decent routes. He's going to be like a deep specialist as an LTD. Now, he cannot even be powered up either, which kind of sucks. If he could be powered up, maybe I could have... You could at least get all his catching to above a 90s route running. But again, they have to remember, like this is the one thing with EA. At this point in the year, they cannot be selling speed to me. Because at this point in the year, everyone has speed. With the way they've done chems, everyone has speed at this point. So stop selling a speed. So I, I want to see stats. I want to see catching. I want to see route running. Early in the year, no. Now, yes. That's the one thing they got to understand. There's no more There's no more rush for speed anymore. But let's head over to the mad screen. Guys, so he is up here, surprisingly. Did not think he'd be up this fast. But as you guys see right here, John Ross... Um, 97 overall, as you guys saw before. I just want to show you the behind the uh, card stats, obviously. Just to give you guys a quick look behind the scenes. Excel 97. Let's see what his uh, kick power. Let's see what his jumping is 90. Kick return 96. Elusive is 94. Ball carry vision 91. 93 stiff. 99 juke. Okay. He's got 99 juke, but here's the thing we're 99 juking, guys. If only Madden wasn't stupid and they actually allowed juke move to actually matter. Now, juke move matters when you have evasive or you have jukebox. Without, without, without jukebox or any of that, his juke move is going to be really, like, I'm no joke, it's still going to be a slow juke move. I don't think 99 juke move even affects the speed of the juke move. So, it's, you'll probably get everyone you juke out, but you're going to be one of those slow ones where you end up stopping afterwards. In my opinion, not exactly the best card. Uh, if he could if he could have been powered up, he would have been better. If he could be powered up, he'd be great because you can put evasive on him. Like, you can make him super glitchy. But in this, in this case specifically, I don't think this card is the move. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys are new to the channel, head on over down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notify bell, boys. Let's get to 21K. We're super close. Make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Every 80 likes will be another 10K given away, guys. So make sure you run up the like button. Show some support, guys. Remember, all you got to do is enter, subscribe, comment down below your console, and have liked the video, guys. Once you do all those things, you are entered to win. Good luck, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure to check out the other video today. We'll be doing, I believe, a, another video probably around like 2.30, 3 p.m. Eastern time. So make sure you stay tuned for that, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed Combine Part 2. Now stay tuned for Carbine Part 3 coming the 4th. I'm out. Peace.